Hi everybody, it's time for Ask My Tablet, the show where you send in the questions and I ask my tablet. Just send the, your questions in in the comment section, many as you like. I've already got, I got enough for today of course. And I got six towards the next one, so let's keep them coming in. All right, here we go. Alexa, what are the health benefits of mustard? Here's something I found on the web. According to onlyfoods.net, mustard helps in treating asthma and also cures indigestion. Yeah, you know, I heard that uh, about the indigestion thing. I didn't know about the uh, asthma. But I've heard that about the indigestion and, you know, when I've been in flares before, I've taken like a, I think it was like a teaspoon of, you know, just yellow mustard. And uh, it, it does help some. So, all right. Uh, Alexa, is liverwurst good for you? Well, healthiness depends on personal health considerations. One slice of pork liverwurst has has 9.5% of the daily recommended intake of saturated fat, 9.5% of the daily recommended intake of cholesterol, and 6.5% of the daily recommended intake of sodium. 6.5%? You'd think it, uh, that doesn't sound, you think it'd have more sodium in it than that. But I don't know, that's what it says. If it's that, that's not horribly bad for you. I mean, it's not, doesn't sound that great for you though. I guess it would be like she said, just your personal, personal preference of what you think would be too much or, or whatever. Okay, Alexa, what does your name stand for? The name has both an ancient and modern backstory. It was inspired by the Library of Alexandria which held the knowledge of the ancient world. Also, the distinct sound of the name ensures I only hear requests when spoken to. Hmm. That's pretty neat. Alexa? Is Alexa your full name? I'm Alexa. I share this name with lots of amazing people. That's it. Just Alexa. Alexa, how long did it take to build the International Space Station? Here's something I found on the web. According to Kuznews.com, with Atlantis on time departure, space shuttles have spent 276 days, 11 hours, and 23 minutes docked to the station since construction began in 1998, or more than nine months altogether. Is that really the answer? No. Oh. They're just saying that the space shuttles have spent 276 days docked to the station. And I asked it how long, you know. So how, what would you, how many months did it take? Alexa, how many months did it take to build the space station? Here's something I found on the web. According to Kuznews.com, with Atlantis on time same, departure, same time. space shuttles have spent 276 days, 11 same. hours, and 23 minutes docked to the station since construction began in 1998, or more than nine months altogether. Did that answer your question? No. No. Thanks for your feedback. You're welcome. Okay. Anyway, uh... Alexa, how far away is the International Space Station from Earth? ISS is 249 miles from the world, as the crow flies. As the crow flies. <laughs> okay, uh... Hold on, I gotta have my glasses. Not for sure. There's one, uh, those were from Kim, by the way. And here's one from NK Innovation. Alexa, what is the most common staple eaten by the whole world? Here's something I found on the web. According to hubpages.com, 
Rice is the most common food staple not only in Asia, but also in the whole world. Well, I didn't notice, but this next one is basic, is about the same question. Um, and this one's from Xenomorph. I didn't realize till just now that they both asked about the same thing. Uh, probably because I wrote these questions down at, at different times and then I could, didn't remember. But it's right below it. It says, what is the most common food eaten in the world? Let's see if there's any difference. Alexa, what is the most common food eaten in the world? Here is what I found. According to CourseHero.com, the most common foods, such as banana or coffee, will rise to the top of the food list. There's rice. Rice was the most common staple. So, got different a different answer on that. Well, let's see. Uh, here's one from Colleen C. Alexa, how is popcorn harvested? Here's something I found on the web. According to reference.com, farmers harvest popcorn using combines that remove the ears from the stalks. I would say it's just a lot like corn is, you know. Okay. Uh, Alexa, how many pounds of popcorn are sold in America in a year? Here's something I found on the web. According to boyslife.org, Americans eat one billion pounds of popcorn a year. What? <laughs> one billion pounds? So how much does that make, you know, if that's raw, like the, before cooked, you know, or whatever. So golly. Alexa, do you like popcorn? Well, I can't eat or drink, but I'm happy to serve up a plate of food jokes for you. Okay, well, we got some stuff to ask you. Here's one from California Karen, 789. Alexa, is a tortoise the same as a turtle? Tortoises are reptile species of the family Testudinidae of the order Testudines. Turtles are reptiles of the order Chelonia or Testudines. So they're different, but she didn't really say. Alexa, what's the difference between a tortoise and a turtle? Turtles and tortoises are both reptiles, but tortoises are land-dwelling and turtles live in the water. Okay, so that's the difference. All right. Uh, here's one from Joe's Garden and Bees. Alexa, when will it stop raining in Louisiana? In Louisiana, Missouri, it's not raining right now but it's possible, starting at 11 p.m. You can expect about 0 0.05 inches. She's got Louisiana, Missouri, though. Well, I asked about Louisiana. <laughs> well, Joe, according to her, it's not going to rain really much there in Louisiana, Missouri. <laughs> oh, well, I just wanted to see what she'd say on that one. <laughs> Here's one from Peabody McKenzie. Alexa, how many hamburgers are sold in a year? Here's something I found on the web. According to reference.com, Americans eat approximately 50 billion hamburgers every year. And 1 billion pounds of popcorn. <laughs> wow, 50 billion hamburgers. Here's one from, uh, no, here's two, I think, from uh, This and That with Debbie Jean. Alexa, what is the temperature of lava? Here's something I found on the web. According to reference.com, the temperature of lava ranges from 700 degrees Celsius, 1,292 degrees Fahrenheit, to 1,250 degrees Celsius, 2,282 degrees Fahrenheit. Even at the lowest temperature, that's hot. <laughs> and Alexa, what is the smallest mammal? The Etruscan shrew is the world's lightest animal, oh. as it weighs an average of 0 0.046 to 0 0.088 ounces, or 1.3 to 2.5 grams. Oh. 
That is small. A couple grams. Good grief. All right. Uh, here's some from Vicky G. Alexa, how many names are on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C.? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, as of May 2018, there were 58,320 <clears throat> names, including eight women. The number of names on the wall is different than the official number of U.S. Vietnam War deaths, which is 58,220 as of May 2018. Some eligible names were omitted at the request of families. Yeah, well, okay. Alexa, what is Whoopi Goldberg's real name? Whoopi Goldberg's birth name is Karen Elaine Johnson. She was born on November 13, 1955 in New York, New York, United States in New York City, New York in New York in the United States. New York in New York in New York City, New York. Okay. And Alexa, what is the actor Tony Randall's real name? Tony Randall's birth name was Arthur Leonard Rosenberg. He was born on February 26, 1920 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, United States in Tulsa, Oklahoma, in Oklahoma, in the United States. Well, she goes overboard with that Oklahoma and New York City thing. Let's see if she does it on this one. Alexa, what is actor Kirk Douglas's real name? Kirk Douglas's birth name was Isher Hershlovich Danielovich. He was born on December 9, 1916 in Amsterdam, New York. United States in Amsterdam, New York in New York in the United States. <laughs> I don't know why she does that. That's funny. Okay, that's it for the regular questions. How about Alexa? Sing me a song. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. That's a new one. Maybe that was for summer. Okay, how about Alexa? Tell me a story. The hunt. Darkness surrounded her. The vast emptiness of the ocean stretched in all directions. She was limitless, yet she had only one goal in mind, to eat. The water glided smoothly across her sandpaper skin as she waved her fin back and forth, ever so slightly, not expending any more energy than was necessary. Pilotfish picked at the meat stuck between her teeth. An annoyance she could rid herself of with one quick snap, but that would have to wait. She smelled blood, just a short distance away. She swam toward the scent, slowly and deliberately. Up ahead she saw a disturbance in the water. A squid was flailing wildly as a shark circled around it below. She sized up the competition. It was smaller than her, and bore a deep gash across its eye, probably from the squid's sharp beak. She could win this fight. The scars that patterned her body were proof of it. She swam deeper and began to circle the squid, waiting for just the perfect moment to attack. That's it. <laughs> Heard that one a few days ago, or, or with one of the shows, however when it was. Might have been the last one. Sometimes she'll... Tell new ones like the, I never heard that uh, song before. How about this? Alexa, tell me a joke. I once read a book about mazes. I got really lost in it. <laughs> Alexa, tell me a joke. What do you call a frog that hops into a pot of gold? A leprechaun. Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody that's going to be it for ask my tablet keep them questions coming in and i'll keep doing the show share it with somebody please and please press that like button subscribe if you haven't already 
and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out everybody have a great evening and i will see you in the morning at morning devotions god bless